guys and welcome back to tech girl brianna every tuesday i make a new video here on my youtube channel so make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me so today's topic is six signs that computer science is for you i know when a lot of people are high school students or they are just studying another degree in college all of a sudden it just hits them out of nowhere hey, I want to study computer science, but is it really fit for me? I don't really know. The counselors will always tell you, oh yeah, 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 you can do it. But is it really for everybody? So I have made a list of six signs, and if any of these or any of these signs related to how you are feeling, then I truly believe that this is the field of study that I think you should definitely pursue. Okay, so the first one is that you like math. I personally was one of those math nerds in high school and in college, and I personally really liked math. There was just something about it that I would just get this feeling of satisfaction and almost like a feeling of euphoria when I finally figured out a problem that is so satisfying. Well, you get those same feelings when you're studying computer science. You're often stuck on problems for a long time just like in math. And it's really important that you can apply some of the concepts that you have learned in math into programming. That is so crucial, guys. You guys have no idea. So even though math is not necessary for the job, it will help you out so much in your college career as well as your actual career. And yes, programmers will always say you don't need math, but I personally think it is a really valuable skill to have in your job. It's almost crucial. And plus, if you like math, it is required in the computer science degree. That way you won't be stuck like all the other computer science students. They're like, oh, I gotta get these math classes out of the way so I can finally take those computer science classes and get my degree. But if you like math, then good for you because literally half of your classes are math classes. So yeah. So you're gonna have a much easier time than the other students that are suffering. So the second sign is you are a problem solver. You don't give up too easily. You just don't stop until you finally fix or resolve the problem. You're one of those people that doesn't need an instruction manual. You make the instruction manual. Not literally, but I mean like, you just don't need one. You're one of those people that can put Ikea furniture together without the manual. Okay, me personally, when I put together Ikea furniture, I have to have the manual because who can put that together, right? That should be a degree, seriously. But you guys know what I mean. You prefer to figure out how to solve the problem yourself than to ask somebody or receive instructions. So essentially what I'm trying to say, you are somebody that takes matters in your own hands. So the third sign is you like constant change. Now I have to say, there aren't many fields out there where it's not constantly changing, but especially in the tech industry, it's always changing. I mean, every month is so different. It's definitely a love upkeep, but if you're passionate about it, then it doesn't feel like upkeep. It doesn't feel like a chore. It's just something you really enjoy learning and you like the new exciting opportunities in front of you. You gotta be somebody that is excited to receive more opportunities to grow and learn. So the fourth sign is that you've done a lot of research and exploring online about this topic or field. So the fact that you're even researching it, because to be honest, most people find this field of work really, really boring. So the fact that you're even researching it shows that you're actually genuinely interested. There's something about you that is actually excited to learn and study about this. I mean, it really just starts from curiosity for most of us, and then it just starts growing into a passion. I know me personally, when I was researching the topic, it's because I met somebody that really seemed to like their job. And just the way that she spoke about it really piqued my interest. So I did a little bit of Googling once I got home after that presentation. And I could imagine myself in that situation many years from now. And although what I imagined my career to be like five or six years ago is very different than what it is today, it is still what I dream of my future now is very similar of what I dreamt of a long time ago. So the fifth sign, and this is more of like a physical thing, is you don't mind sitting and staring at a screen and sitting down on a desk chair for long hours every day. Some people need to get up a lot and they need to walk around a lot. Some people hate sitting in a desk from nine to five. Some people wanna talk to people all day long. Now, surprisingly, there are probably some jobs in this field where you're probably hardly ever sitting at a desk or you probably are talking to people all day long. 
but the reality is especially if you're a coder you're most likely gonna your eye you're most likely gonna have your eyeballs glued to a screen and your butt sitting in a chair all day long I know for me, that's a little bit difficult for me. Actually, it's pretty difficult. I'm quite a hyper person, so I like to get up and walk a lot. I don't necessarily like to be extroverted and talk to people. It's just more like I like to get up, go for walks, come back, sit down. But personally, me, when I am working, I like to do it on a desk and chair, and I don't mind looking at a screen and doing it that way. I actually like having a screen because there's just something about turning off the monitor that's just like, okay, I'm done for the day, you know? But that literally doesn't mean you have to be glued to your chair for eight hours a day, if you know what I mean, you know? But if you can't find yourself productive that way, then maybe this is not for you. But if you find that you do your best work in that position, like me and a lot of other people, then that's great, then that's a good sign. All right, and the sixth and final sign is that you work really well under pressure and tight deadlines. Okay, so this one's also a tricky one for me because I would say depending on the situation, I can work either really well in this or I'm the opposite. Now, this doesn't mean being a procrastinator, saving things to the last minute. That's not what I mean by that. What I mean is sometimes you're thrown really big projects last minute and they're like, okay, we need this yesterday and it'll take you like two months to do, you know? So that happens all the time in the field. Unfortunately, just on average, the reality is they don't actually really care how hard you work. They just want, they just care if you got it done or not, to be honest. But that doesn't mean you get to relax and then say that all to the last minute. That's just not how it works. But instead, let those obstacles challenge you. I don't know about you, but sometimes I do like tight deadlines because I like having that instant like gratification and validation just like all millennials and and there's just something about being presented a project like oh shoot oh shoot i don't think i can get it in time you work hard work hard work hard and then bam you get it done and you're like whoa i'm superwoman or superman or whatever gender you are and just remember that things break all the time especially when you least expect it like my boyfriend's a software engineer and oftentimes it'll be 10 p.m we're watching netflix it's like ah website's on fire gotta go and he pulls out his laptop and fixes it he's like okay cool got that done and then it's like 1 a.m so that's just a typical life of a software engineer especially if you work for a startup all right so did this video help you let me know if it did a lot of people are either curious about this field or they're not sure if they should pursue it but if any of these signs apply to you then to me that's the sign you've been looking for to jumpstart your career in computer science make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos from me I have some other videos at the end of this one that you can click on that you may find interesting that are related to this topic. Tune back next week for another video from Tech Girl Brianna on Tech Tuesdays. But in the meantime, if you wanna see what I do in my daily and personal life, I have an Instagram at Tech Girl Brianna, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys.